All right, welcome back to Planet Crafter. There's been a new update, and we're going to check out the new rover vehicle and a couple of new zones. Uh, thankfully, I can load back into my previous save from where I left off. Just before you launch the rocket, it actually gives you a save point there. Um, so it allows you to go through and like try out all the endings. We have a lot of rubbish in our inventory. I should probably get rid of a bunch of that. Um, now, first things first, do I actually have the recipe immediately? Yeah, there we go, vehicle station. So an iridium rod, two super alloy, and three aluminium. That's simple enough. I'm going to guess that blueprints are still useless. Oh, light box medium now. Okay, so a slightly larger... Oh no, that was the light box that I already had. Oh, there we go. Vehicle unlimited oxygen. Okay, so that's a blueprint that you have to unlock. Good to know. Tier 2 equipment increase. Oh, so are all of the new vehicle upgrades uh, blueprints now? I've got a ton of blueprints, so that's uh, fine. <laughs> we can still investigate literally everything. Right, uh, vehicle place. I think maybe behind the trade rockets or something. It has a ramp, or you can just build it flush with the ground, looks like. <laughs> Let's just make it as low as possible. There we go. Grass growing through it. Alright, so... Okay, we build all of the upgrades here as well. So we know the unlimited oxygen we unlocked separately from a blueprint, as well as equipment increase. Tier 2 requires two tier 1s. Oh yeah, I, I should drink first, eh? Alright. Where were we? So the actual thing is a uranium, a fabric, an iron, and a silicon. Okay, so not too expensive, really, all things considered. The rocket engines, I mean, you know, you're wanting to do other things with them, probably, if you're playing the game properly, <laughs> which I kind of wasn't on my uh, initial playthrough, it must be said. <laughs> I was not doing nearly enough... Uh, Silicon, here we go. I wasn't doing nearly enough rockets. Um, okay, thank you. Alright, vehicle. How big's this thing? Yeah, fairly chonky. Alright. So, before we do, like, equipment increase... Oh, it only has two slots by default. Alright. So, you definitely want to do at least a first. And then you need two of those in order to make one of those anyway. Inventory increase? Oh yeah, what, what inventory has it got? I mean, it's a decent size. I don't know what TI rating you need to unlock this, because since it's already unlocked, looking at the tree, it's not going to tell me what it needed at that time. Uh, but that seems decent. Speed increase, so you get a speed increase by default. You get lights by default. Beacon you get later, presumably, because that's quite advanced. And logistics. Devotes logistics system to a vehicle. Oh, so you can use drones and stuff. So I guess you can just drive it back and have drones just grab stuff from your inventory. I mean, it's handy. I, I think it's a bit excessive, but maybe we should have grabbed some zeolite. We could have got a speed increase. Right, initial upgrades, I think, uh, definitely equipment increase, we can add more on, we'll see what that does. Uh, inventory increase as well, see how much that adds on to it, and uh, give it a beacon as well. I think those are pretty mandatory sorts of things to use straight away. So equipment increase, okay, that expands, so you add one, so you start with two, you add the module and it gives you four, so it doubles it, but it has to remain equipped. Then inventory increase and a beacon. Beacon is nice. Inventory increase, what does that change? Oh, that like doubles the inventory. Wow. That's actually pretty huge. And then from there, it can pretty much only just add a few rows at a time. Like two more rows, another two more rows or something. That's pretty cool. I love how it just makes it slightly taller. That's kind of funny. Uh, we should take it for a spin before we upgrade the speed. So how fast does this go? We don't really have any point of reference. Oh my god, they gave the unstuck shortcut to the rover. Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. 
Alright, so it's not fast, and by default, you don't get oxygen from it without getting blueprints. But you can fly if you want to, and it has no damage. <laughs> That's kind of broken. Alright, exit. Um, oh, switch view I saw. Can we go first person on this? Oh, we can. That's kind of cool. I feel that would be nauseating when you go over big bumps and stuff, but that is kind of cool. The other thing I noticed is this thing here, so use, return to garage, it just teleports it, it just straight up teleports it back. That's insane. Need some sulfur and cobalt to give it some lights. Alright, let's do speed increase. It's gotten really dark all of a sudden. We've got... Oh, I didn't want to sit in the chair on the back. I c there we go. Turn on my miniature sun. Open vehicle wherever that's right. Speed increase. So 100% speed increase. Yeah, that feels a lot more zippy. That's nice. I really want to be able to just like jump. Can we go underwater with this thing? I guess we can. I mean, it's just... It's just rocks. So we don't have the infinite oxygen thing on. But we currently have like just infinite oxygen in the world anyway. What happens if we drive underwater? Okay, no, we do start running out of oxygen. So I'm then curious what happens when you die, when you're inside the rover. But I probably shouldn't experiment with that. <laughs> I am naturally curious, but that's probably not a good experiment. <laughs> we need like a bridge across here. This kind of goes down. That's one thing I, I do kind of wish you could do, is you need to be able to construct more just functional things in the world. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much because you can just build base components everywhere. But sometimes you don't want a chunky base component. You can also do foundations, I guess. But you don't really walk on foundations very well. You, you kind of do, but... Right, I think it's time for us to plunder some more of our blueprints and just see what there is that we can upgrade now. Uh, we we have a lot of them. Uh, it's another light box. We don't need more light boxes. Let's take 10. That's nine. Ten. So we've got ten blueprints on us now. Let's see what we get. Tier two speed increase. Nice. Even faster. Tier two inventory increase. Expected. Tier two lights. Okay. I haven't even tried the lights yet. I should do that. Tier three inventory increase. Tier three speed increase. This thing's going to go fast. And that's it. Okay. So five. Five plus the two that we had on us. So it seems like there's seven blueprints total to do with this. So I guess we should invest in tier 2 equipment increase before we go much further actually. We're going to make another one tier 1. So we need an iridium for that. Because if we yank this... What happened to the other one? Because there was three. It's just eaten our speed increase. Unless it's dropped it somewhere. It just completely ate our speed increase. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it just hovers in midair. Alright. <laughs> so be careful when you take stuff out. Otherwise, it'll just be sitting in midair. At least you don't lose it. Uh, but you can just downgrade like that. But we're going to need everything on us anyway. I guess we could have tried the lights. Tier 2 lights. Okay, so we need to make two of these, but we can see what one... Well, we can't anymore because it's no longer nighttime, I guess, but... Adds lights. I mean, it's going to be enough to see by, right? But we are going to want more. What's the speed increase? A second tier 1, but explosive powder. And then you need a second tier 2. And a bunch of other stuff. All right. So that does escalate rather a lot. 
Okay, so we need to make a second tier one equipment in order to be able to make the tier two. All right, there's no tier three. We're going to need another tier one. All right, but we don't have everything else for that yet. I'm not worried about inventory right now. Uh, I will need... Oh, I need another rocket engine to do tier two speed increase. And then we need another tier one lights, and then we can get tier two lights. So we'll need another rocket engine and some explosive powder. In fact, we'll need three more rocket engines because we need to make a second tier two in order to get tier three. And we're going to need a lot more zeolite. Okay. For now, let's equip this. So equipment increase. Whoa, <laughs> it, it more than doubles it. So you end up with nine available. That's nice. Now we can put our beacon back in immediately and tier two lights. And then we're going to want to increase the speed and inventory separately. Oh yeah, so it gets an additional light bar in the middle. Oh, and down the bottom. Wow, that thing's going to be bright. You can even actually see it now in daytime. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's go grab some more materials. Let's make a bit of a shopping list. A few moments later. Alright, second tier 1 speed increase, which gives us our first tier 2 speed increase. We also have our first tier 2 inventory increase. Which I'm kind of interested to see just what that does anyway. So tier 2 inventory increase. It's another little tier on top. And yeah, it just adds another couple of rows looks like. That's nice though. And now rather than bother with uh, investigating the tier 2 speed increase, we're just going to jump straight to tier 3 and see how bonkers it has now become. <laughs> Right, tier 3 speed. Okay, so it takes a while to accelerate, and it slows down to turn, but that's fine. Sploosh. You can go riding through the water just fine. I do appreciate that. Riding through the forests is going to be hard. Does this uh, clip through trees? Okay, yeah, you can just drive straight through trees. That's good. <laughs> if we had to worry about dodging trees, this would become very useless later in the game. Let's go explore the new biomes, shall we? Because they added two new biomes. One is the lush desert. We'll see just how lush a desert can actually be. I'm doubtful. <laughs> and the toxic caves, apparently. Which uh, doesn't sound quite so inviting. But we can check them out and see what's up. So this would be the lush desert. This used to be a, just a sandblasted landscape that your vision would go red if you got too far into. And there was no resources, there was no reason to explore anyway. Now I've added resources on the ground, but pretty thinly, so there's still not much reason to come out here by default, unless they've added in some more wrecks or something. Crunch. More wrecks, more bases, there's not even crates, oh this is interesting though. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of a warden teaser. Maybe you find this before you've been to any of the other places. I still have my detector on, and it's not giving me another key. I don't see anything to read. Yeah, there's not like any tablets or anything around here. It's literally just like a tribute to Stargate. <laughs> Almost, it's a couple of curved panes and hieroglyph things so it's it's very much a little stargate-esque nod <laughs> that's kind of fun i don't know if that was the intention uh, but that's my read on it there's also no frog areas around here so nowhere to drink which is a bit concerning by this stage of terraforming i would have hoped for something like that oh, here we go here we go some broken solar panels and remnants of a base. Is this another E-class base? Oh, I can't deconstruct these. It'd be nice if you could deconstruct them and then reconstruct them immediately to get more power. So another broken base. Oh, another rocket engine. I don't need that anymore, but uh, <laughs> you know. And then just is there any messages or anything? Oh yeah, here we go. So who's this? Jimmy. I just read that as Jeremy immediately, but okay, Jeremy. 
3047. I don't, can't remember how that sticks with the other timelines. I think that's a bit earlier than the others. Pretty sure the reason my ship went unresponsive near this planet something to do with my mission. Has something to do with my mission. After wandering around for a bit, I found this place to settle. With enough supplies to survive for a few months, I just need to find a way to repair my ship. Um, devs, if you need someone to proofread your stuff before it goes out, get in touch. More than happy to oblige. I'm getting iron from all of this. Okay, I kind of didn't want to. I was hoping it wouldn't. Okay, and then it proceeds deeper. Alright, so this is adjusted based on your terraforming level. So as usual, you kind of want to come here later. Uh, found some weird remains around here, as if humans had already been living here. But this plant's so far from the habitable worlds, how could it be? The remains seem like ancient debris, but I could tell the ones who made it were highly higgly advanced. The tablets are unreadable, as almost everything has been erased by erosion and storms. I don't understand. I feel some line spacing would be handy too. Once again, just uh, more adjusted loot. Well, presumably terraform level adjusted. Uh, maybe it's the same when you come here early, but I doubt it. Here we go. Private scavenger. Assignment reconnaissance of normal number of ships from various companies have disappeared on the Ezekiel Prime Sector. Go find out what you can. Investigate sector to discover why ships seem to vanish. Well, just, uh, it's a classic, like, horror movie thing of, oh, go there and see why everyone keeps disappearing. They disappear. <laughs> now, completely positive, I found remains of another civilization and other civilization. I can't believe it could it be this other race we met that completely vanished so many years ago completely i need to transmit this information at all cost i didn't manage to set up a way of communication yet outside the storm is getting bigger and bigger every day now we have some uh, things we could deconstruct for circuits if we wanted to here's the tablets he found but you can't read anything from them he did say they were eroded and nothing else of consequence in this all right anything else in here is there like any other way down no more ladders or anything no it doesn't look like it that's all good so single level base with a cave system so we don't know what happened to him but we presume with the storm raging outside everything got buried and busted and he perished that would be my guess 